I'll explain what I'm doing. You know what this wrist thing is for? Throw the whole thing in the water? Ask him about that. <laughs> yeah, I've done it before. <laughs> we came out early in the morning and uh, I mean it was still dark and he threw it and forgot to put the wrist wrap on. It opened beautifully but I hadn't had my coffee so. <laughs> yeah, he threw the whole thing in the water. I the brain wasn't he working. I to dive down and get it but I think he was too mad at that point so he had to stop and go back to the house and get our other one. This is the only other pain in the butt and see you're gonna put it in your hand like this and this is the pain in the rear end about having a lot of rope left because it can get tangled up. And you're just gonna you just go like this. You're gonna catch the loops and catch the loops and catch the loops until you get to this guy. And like I said, this is our first one that's got the the cheater ring in it. I'm used to him not having it in there. So you grab. So what I found with this, and of course, let it un untangle or untwist, is put this in your pinky for a minute and then you're going to grab about halfway and that little grass isn't going to hurt anything and you're just going to bring it and bunch it inward so you get a good handful um, I usually do maybe two thirds to half and then I still have this in my pinky and I'm going to put that in my hand and I haven't figured out yet which I like better letting the frisbee part stay in my pinky and then releasing it or letting go of the frisbee so I'm going to hold it and then I want see I throw left handed so you guys are going to be opposite of me you're going to have this part in your right hand and then I'm going to swing it around and I'm going to release this and then this in a split second but, oops, I also make sure you want to be able to not smack anybody in the head with it. So this is with holding the frisbee. And it opened up okay. And then you let it fall all the way to the bottom. And you can tell because the rope isn't going to disappear anymore. And then once you have the majority of the slack and you can feel a little tension, and you're going to take and give it a jerk so it closes the hoop. And then, yeah, we need to move. <laughs> Just let it drape and we'll see what it does. So it works both ways. go and then you just see there's two parts of the, of the horn and okay see this one right here see that one that's a crappie that needs to go back in the water see the difference in the stripes yep that one right there needs to go back 